Human rights lie right at the heart of the extraordinary developments which culminated in the departure of former President Ben Ali. We all hope this will be the beginning of a new Tunisia where people are free to go about their lives without fear of arbitrary arrest, detention, torture, or other forms of abuse. A Tunisia where the press is free and where people can express their opinions without fear. A Tunisia where the government governs for the economic and social benefit of the people rather than simply to retain power and enrich some of the members and their families. In future, those who abuse power in Tunisia, ranging from the President of the Republic to the judge in the courtroom and the security officer on the street, all must be held accountable. I expressed my support to the people of Tunisia and I discussed my intention to send a team of highly experienced staff from my office to Tunisia to carry out an assessment of priorities on the human rights front. Two questions. On, on, uh, the issue of what should be done with the ill-gotten gains of uh, Ben Ali and his family? Um, I don't know about the ill-gotten gains, but these, I imagine, would be the assets that belong to the people of Tunisia. And uh, one's first reaction is that's where they should be uh, restored.